Hi everyone, Bianca from Imperio Philanthropy here. I hope your week is off to a good start. Our topic for today is leadership and specifically how to lead boldly through this crisis. Nonprofit leadership has never been easy. Um, and in the last eight weeks, we've seen even more heaped onto the shoulders of CEOs and CDOs and COOs and the like. Um, some organizations are inundated with donations and just trying to keep up. Others are struggling financially and wondering if they're gonna be able to keep their doors open. And most of us are somewhere in the middle, just plugging along and wondering what the future will hold. Um, here at Aperio, we've had the pleasure of speaking with a number of nonprofit leaders in the past few weeks, and we wanted to share with you five things that bold leaders are doing today to prepare for an uncertain future. First, they're being radically honest with themselves about what they don't know, and specifically what they don't know about the future. One thing we can be pretty sure of is that the next year or so is unlikely to look anything like what we've been projecting or planning or hoping for. And bold leaders are taking the time now to think about how that could be different. They're thinking about the fact that we don't know what it's going to be like to fundraise. We don't know what it's going to be like to capture an audience's attention, to, um, to inspire donations. Um, everything is likely to be a little bit different as we navigate um, not only the reopening of our country, but also the economic and personal and social fallout that we're going to be seeing. Because we don't know what's coming, savvy leaders are avoiding the mistake of clinging too hard to projects and plans that they have made for the next year. They're taking a moment to step back and imagine all the possible scenarios that might come, including the ones that seem pretty unlikely or far-fetched or uh, unpleasant. And thinking ahead about how to approach all those different scenarios is helping them prepare for things that might seem surprising to the rest of us when they come down the pike. Bold leaders are recognizing that we're in a moment of transformation. As they're imagining all these possible scenarios for the future, they're realizing this is a profoundly disruptive moment. And I mean that in the worst and the best sense of the word. Certainly, we're all familiar with the worst sense, the really dire consequences of this crisis, but there is a good side to it as well that we're seeing in the nonprofit side, which is that um, this disruption is forcing us to make some changes that we have been wanting to make for years anyway. Um, everyone has been pushed out of their comfort zones and we can't go back. So the only path forward is to navigate our fear, to start learning and to start growing in new directions. And the way I see it, this is driving the kind of innovation that our industry has been needing in order to become more impactful and more sustainable. If we're serious about transformation, everything needs to be put back on the table. All our strategies, all our plans, all our projects, we need to look at them with fresh eyes. And great leaders, bold leaders are the ones who are doing that right now. They are taking the time to challenge their own assumptions, to come to their organizations with almost like a blank slate, bringing a diverse set of voices from inside and outside the organization to the table to imagine how is our organization going to respond? What is our mission in the next year? What are our programs? How do we meet the needs in our community? And what does that mean for fundraising? What are some of the ways that we fundraised in the past that are gonna become more challenging or even impossible? What are some of the new opportunities opening up? How can we simplify? All of these big questions are being examined right now under the leadership of really bold, forward-looking CEOs and CDOs. They're listening and they're learning and they're opening their minds. And then with that comes the sparking of new creativity and new solutions from the people around them. What is emerging as some of the most inspiring visions I've seen for nonprofits um, in my life. Um, and I think that we're going to be seeing some really fresh approaches to changing our world and making the kind of impact that we want to make. 
And finally, the most advanced leaders are already taking the next step, which is turning their new vision into action and making the investments that will make that happen. They are focusing their team's time on new projects that move the vision forward. They're reallocating budgets to resource emerging priorities, and they're inspiring the people around them to think about the vision as their new daily life and their new motivating, motivating force. And what is so exciting about that is that we are really seeing organizations start to move out of that survival mode where we've been hunkering down in the past few weeks and into a mode of thriving and into a mode of recognizing that nonprofits are not only going to survive this crisis, but we're gonna lead the country through it.